everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and Kitty Patootie. And she just painted her nails for the first day of school, white she wanted. Uh, so today we went thrifting. I went to a place without her and then she shopped with me at the second store. So if you have been watching some of my vlogs recently, I might have mentioned that I'm looking for shoes, dresses, flowy pants, and tops for school. And I've pretty much been striking out. So I had some luck today. Not a ton of luck, um, but I definitely found what I needed, which makes me feel um, more at ease going into the school year. So I haven't thrifted the past couple weekends because we've been doing family things. But today I didn't have anything to do and I made it a priority to go to places I knew that had clothing because that's what I need. So the other day I was at school and my brown pair of shoes that I feel very comfortable wearing to work broke. So all I had was my black pair. And I like to, you know, coordinate my outfits and switch it up. So uh, I went to this one church thrift store and I found three pairs of shoes and a stack of magazines and my bill wasn't even $20. So this is the pair that I got for my daughter from the first place. They were $5, they're Crocs, um, they're in excellent condition. They have that little metal piece and I think that these will be nice whenever she wants to wear them, but specifically for church when it's warm out and they fit her great. Um, at the other store, they, um, it, it, well, both stores, I'll say this. Some things I think are priced at a great deal and some are a little bit more depending on what brand it is. So these are in really nice shape. They're guess, they're wedges, and they marked them at 12, but they fit both of us. I love a wedge. Um, I think this will look really good with the dress that I just bought. She wants to wear them. So she'll probably wear them more than me right now. And then when she grows out of them, they'll become mine. But they'll probably be even more comfortable for me after she's stretched them out a bit since my feet are so wide. Okay, there you go. For me for work, um, it was my brown shoes that broke. So I found these that are like a dark metallic bronze, which sometimes is a little bit better than brown because it's just very neutral and this could go with a f even more things than just a brown shoe. Now, you do whatever you want to do with coordinating, but that's just how I do it. So these are Clarks. They will be very comfortable for school and they were $6. The other pair is a brand that is new to me, Vionic, but I loved that they are a rose gold, so a nice neutral um, that will go with a lot of different things. And on the bottom, it says that they are podiatrist designed, and you can see that really nice um, firm arch. So I think those will be very comfortable for school. And if you are someone who has a wide foot, but you're looking for something cute, all three of these straps are actually, they're not, the buckle's just decoration, they're Velcro. So I'm, I'm very excited to find and discover these. The other thing that I got there was this stack of magazines. Magazines are 50 cents each, so I got five. Um, so my total was $19.50. I picked up this October 2018 English Home, and it's got this little B that says Country Special. And originally this was $6.99. And I love these British magazines and you can just see like how big they are compared to some of the ones here in the US. Um, then the other two I got were the official magazine Britain. And this one was from November, 2018. It was $6.95 originally. And this one is January, 2020, $7.99. I always love the images. I love it when they have the gardens and the architecture. And then these were great finds because these are all still currently being sold. This one is supposed to uh, be displayed until September 26th of this year. And this one, October 3rd. And I spent 50 cents. And usually these magazines at the grocery store are marked $12.99. That's what both of these were. And I don't know where you get these discounted. So somebody spent $26 on these and I spent a dollar. Um, the best of flea market home and living and the best of French country. And I think every year they put one of these out and they put that same picture on the front, but it's a very pretty picture. So I came and got my daughter 
and we went to the second thrift store we got the white shoes but before we went there we wanted nail polish so that is what is all over my nails right now is we went to walgreens we were testing um they let you test there and we picked up a few nail polishes she got a white okay and a sparkly pink uh they were like a dollar 29 each what a great price because the one i got was over 11 dollars but i do like sally hansen i like this um, formula and it's a color that's very similar to one that I thrifted before called oxblood but I don't know if nail polishes discontinue things or just change the name but keep the same color so this one looks like oxblood but it's called wine stock and this is the color I like to use in the fall and there were not a ton of nail polishes there, there wasn't. no there was like Revlon Sally Hansen and, and Wet n Wild there's another brand there was no Essie. I mean, there wasn't like the Revlon that I'm used to. So and we didn't want to keep driving around. But the next store we went to, they had a box of free nail polish when we walked in. So I picked up this color called OPI by Popular Vote. Free. And um, not old. Like you can hear it shaking around. So it'll be good. She got a purpley blue iridescent and then i got a blue one but i can't find it okay it's probably in the car sinful colors so that was nice kind of balanced out <laughs> spending 11 dollars on that since the what did we get three were free uh, yeah yeah since three were free okay um i'll show you the stuff i got first i got this candle it smells so good and it's got like all these botanicals that are gorgeous it's called apricot rose and i paid five dollars for it which i can't believe they had it marked that inexpensive at this store and the scent is heavenly it's so good it's got a lot of that apricot scent and i have this roller ball i've shared it in a favorites video before by olivia care and it's um, apricot, fig. apricot fig and this is apricot rose they smell alike and they're amazing and I used this one this morning and I thought to myself I'll be very sad when I am finished using this well this candle has 200 hours of burn time <laughs> and it's a company called rosy rings they have a website and it is a pro proprietary wax blend hand poured in Colorado so on the bottom if I had to guess, I think that's an anthropology price tag and it says $52 and I got it for five and it's still got the like wax on it. I mean, you know, the plastic wrap, so it's never been used. So as soon as this video is done, we're burning this. And that's my favorite sign of perfume. So I'm glad we have a candle of it. Yes. Oh, okay. Take it away. Um, I picked up this cut glass perfume bottle. There was no price on it and when I took it up I, um, I said there was no price I couldn't find the stopper she said just take it she just threw it in the bag which is very nice it's got that really polished base and when I took it out of the car the light hit the bottom and it is acid etched made in Czechoslovakia so when I got it without the stopper I thought that I could make a clay one and I can use this in my vanity sculpture series but I have so many stoppers that I'll see if one looks good. And if it doesn't, then I will make a clay one. Or I might make a clay one anyway. So that was very nice. Really pretty. Yeah. And I got two dresses, which I think I'll just try them on to share them with you at the end. And two books. And the funny thing about these books is they were marked $5 a piece. And I thought, well, you know, I'll treat myself because the images are great. <laughs> when I went to pay, the lady said, they were marked $35 yesterday. And I was like, why? It's like, I would not have spent 35. So that makes me feel better about getting them for $5 today. So I believe they're German and they have these amazing illustrations in them. There were four books total and um, I wasn't crazy about the other two. And I was kind of happy about that because I really didn't want to spend $20 for four books. So I got these two and uh, I think I looked at this one first because I saw it from the edge and I thought, well, maybe this is a ledger. Like I could just tell it was older. 
Oh, I mentioned that all of that was testing nail polishes, right? <laughs> this is the first page, and I was just like, yep, I love this. They are botanical illustrations that are stamps. So I don't know if people would get these and collect them and fill the book in, or if this is just how they came. But how amazing are these jellyfish and sea creatures? And they had that gorgeous faded pastel appearance. I mean, the jellyfish ones. Oh. And then I opened it up and there was nature. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see this one. Look at these up close of these insects. Hey, buddy. Hi. This cool book I got. Oh, thank you for the hug. Ooh. I love you. You want to say hi to everybody on YouTube? Hi. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to go back to school? Yes. <laughs> oh, look at this one with the moon. All right, honestly, if I had seen this whole set for 35, I probably would have spent that. So I definitely got a deal today. Look at the snakes. What an awesome resource. And let's see, this one, plants. Oh, look at that. This is metallic constellations. It just gets better and better. Caves, people. Oh, look at that, cranes. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Probably just keep them as is, because how in the world could I cut them open? But, you know, I'll get like an easel, and I can open up to a page to put it on display. Monuments. That's neat. And my first unit with my one class is going to be abstract texture pieces inspired by cells and um, under like under the lens, which maybe maybe that's what that says. I don't know. But these are so cool because they're just abstract and colorful. I wonder what year these are. OK, let me see. But it does say printed in Switzerland and it does say copyright 1929. Wow, oh wow. Quick little type into Google said wonders from all over the world and said that it detected that that was German. I'm looking down here at the bottom and I see Nestle with an accent, then I see chocolate. So it said it was issued or issued by or published by chocolates and all of these are chocolate companies. So that is that wild? Um, I guess the chocolate company put this out in 1929. Really neat. Here's the dress, pockets. I don't know, I'm excited. It seems very comfortable yet stylish for work. And I don't know what my favorite thing of the day is. I'm really excited about the candles. I think the chocolate books about the world are amazing. I like this dress. I'm so happy about the shoes, especially the rose gold shoes, because I never had those. So for a day that I didn't get a lot of vintage things, you know, because that's where my heart lies, I think it was a good thrifting day. So I've got one more dress to show you. And here's the old navy dress. Very comfortable, and I'm glad my daughter talked me into buying it. So that's it for my haul today. Here, come on in, say hi. And we'll see all of you in another video. Bye. Bye.